Welcome to Premiere Pro CS6. We're going to go file new project, new project, and just click on OK. And click on Yes. And you can see that we have some uh, sequence presets. Uh, the NTSC, we're talking about DVD quality. And uh, there's a standard uh, screen uh, ratio and the widescreen. People nowadays tend to like widescreen. So we're going to choose the, one of the widescreen options, click on OK. So here is your Premiere Pro layout. There's a lot of uh, different uh, buttons and, and windows. It may seem confusing in the beginning, but you'll get used to it. This is the professional standard. And the nice thing about Premiere Pro is that for video editing, it works on PCs as well as Macs, and they're pretty similar. There's another uh, complementary program called After Effects, which is more about special effects. But for now, let's try some basic uh, editing in Premiere Pro. Let's go to File import and when you go to import you can import some video as well as pictures so just to get started let's find some pictures it will probably be easier to just uh, get a feel for Premiere so I'm just gonna browse for some pictures and I just happen to have three wallpapers from interfacelift.com and notice how when you're actually importing footage or pictures or videos you can actually hold down the control key to select and deselect just the ones you want on one shot rather than doing the file import process over and over again. You can even press click, hold down shift, click and it selects all the files from beginning to end as well. Click on open. So we're importing these files and you can see that you have some files imported to your project here. And what we can do is you can actually uh, drag these in to your video one layer. And you can see because all of these are selected, if you hold down uh, shift click on the actual file names. You can select from beginning to end. You can even press control click. We essentially dragged all three in one shot. So let's uh, click on one of these and you can actually press delete to delete it. Uh, this is your current time indicator, this upside down yellow triangle and you can see as we're scrubbing through your actual video you can see what your video is going to look like. If you s scrub to the beginning and you click on the play button you can see that for a few seconds time is passing by you see one picture and then for a few seconds we see another picture okay so now let's try actually within this uh, timeline you can actually press the plus sign to zoom in uh, sometimes you might in previous versions of Premiere you might see some kind of uh, zoom in zoom out scrubby kind of um, slidey bar here and that might apply to various windows including the timeline but for this version, CS6, you just press the uh, plus sign and the minus sign. And you should be able to zoom in to get a better feel for what's happening here. If you click on a certain picture or video, just hover to the right, you can see that you see a red um, little icon up here. You can click and drag it to uh, shorten the length of the actual video or picture. You can click on this one here. I'm going to shorten the, the beginning here. You can click and drag, click hold down the left mouse button, drag, and then you can drag down, drag <clears throat> drag the uh, pictures and videos together and notice how they snap nicely into place. So you can always uh, press play or even the space bar to um, play it and you can see now we have a shorter video and uh, a presentation. Okay so now say you're ready to actually um, create a video file based on this project you just go to file export export media and you see an export settings window pop up and you can choose various format AVI you can even choose the um, QuickTime and uh, notice how we are originally working with NTSC DVD quality and you can click on output name and you can see right now it's going to my desktop and it's just called sequence01.mov because I chose the QuickTime which generates MOV videos which works very well generally and you can click on export export just makes the video right away whereas Q you can have uh, multiple uh, videos rendering at the same time click on export and it's gonna make a video and you can see on my desktop there's this uh, nice video called Sequence01 and if you actually play it, it's going to play the video that you just created. So congratulations, hopefully this introductory video gave you a feel for the basic first steps with Premiere Pro CS6.